Today I want to show you really the next step in teaching electricity and electronics. Now we have our Ohm's Law Trainer and many of you use that in the classroom. It is one of the most popular products for teaching Ohm's Law and DC circuits in the world. And now we have the next step which is the MD4022 for te teaching electronics. Have you ever wanted a compact and self-contained training system for teaching electronics, for having your students go through and construct, analyze and diagnose electronic circuits? Have you ever had problems trying to store all the electronic components in your shop or in your office at the school? It can be a nightmare and the components that you typically have are not what we'd call student proof. A lot of times they have uh, the smoke gets let out of them very easily. Well this product is made specifically to make your life easier when teaching electronics. Now the heart of the system is the power supply. With it plugged in to the wall receptacle, we can simply turn it on. We're going to see this light up here indicating that the power supply is on. Now using the positive and negative receptacles here and the jumper leads, we can bring power and ground to the component. And it is a variable power supply, so we can change the voltage level, we can change the intensity. And then if your students make a mistake, and let's say that they short the two wires together, we can see that the power supply goes into overload. There's no voltage present. All they have to do is press the reset button, like this, and the power supply will reset, and we didn't damage any of the components. Now this product uses modupponents, and what is a modupponent? It is simply a transparent uh, component with various different electrical components installed in it, along with the different receptacles. So we have both single modupponents, like this one here, and they're installed like this, or a double modupponent here. Now, the lid of the trainer has been designed so that you can simply place the trainer on top of it to have a better working angle. Now, the kit of modupponents for the MD4022 trainer have been chosen by the team of Consolab educational experts to meet your needs in the classroom and to have a complete package. So, we're going to start off with light bulbs. This light bulb modupoint, we have both single and dual filament light bulbs, and these are easy to replace. These are light bulbs that you're already going to have in stock at your school. Next up, we have uh, double throw, uh, double pull switches followed by resistors, and these have resistance and wattage values that are specifically chosen for the trainer to prevent any damage from occurring. Next up, we have a five pin ISO relay with the schematics and the terminal identifications on it, followed by an NTC thermistor, and we chose a resistance value uh, and a temperature range that allows you to change, your students can change the resistance just by simply warming up the thermistor with the body heat from their hands. Next up, we have a really cool modupponent with optical sensors, three different types. We have a resistor, a diode, and a transistor. Following on the transistor theme, we have another modupponent with PNP and NPN transistors. Next up, we have a really cool sensor, an ultrasonic sensor that we're gonna demo. And this is a type of sensor that is used in ADAS systems. Next, we have the LEDs. And we made a strategic decision to not protect the LEDs. So your students can burn them out, but of course, they are installed in sockets, easily replaceable, so in the eventuality that your students do burn them out, you can very easily change the LEDs. Followed by a potentiometer module, and this is a super robust potentiometer, 50 ohms, 75 watts. Uh, your students are not going to let the smoke out of this pot. Next up, we have a fan, and you can see that in the conjunction with the fan, a relay, and the thermistor, uh, you can very easily demonstrate uh, cooling fan circuits. Next up we have diodes and a rectifier, followed by a solenoid, and lastly the condensers. And all of these components and module components have been chosen, again, by our educational experts. And we have developed student exercises and curriculum for all of them, so that you have a turnkey package to save you very much precious time in your setup and getting your classroom ready. Now as your students wire up the different components, one is going to look like a plate of spaghetti, and that's one of the advantages is that the students have to figure out which wires are going where and keep track of what they're doing. But another feature is that the wires are stackable. You can piggyback them together. So as we do different circuits, let's say we can stack the wires on top. So as we've done here at the power supply, so we can stack the wires together like this. So here's an example of a complex circuit that your students could build using this trainer. 
What I've done is used a optical sensor, actually a photoresistor here. And the photoresistor provides a ground to a PNP transistor. The PNP transistor, once we have ground to the base, comes and gives power to the relay coil. The relay is then going to close, contacts 30 and 87, which is going to engage this solenoid. So all I've got to do is give it a little bit of light here, and we can see the action of that very complex circuit. So here's an example. What I've done is I've connected up power and ground to one of the module bonus. It's an ultrasonic sensor. And I've taken the signal wires and I've brought them to an oscilloscope. And this ultrasonic sensor could be used in a vehicle with uh, advanced driver assist systems and an ADAS system. And so if I just take my hand and I put it over the sensor, as I get closer, we can see a change in the sensor signal. So this is just one of the examples of things that you can do with these trainers. As you have seen, this meticulously chosen kit of Modge Ponens, that is the MD4022 for teaching electronics, can make your life easier as a teacher. To find out more about our products, visit constlab.com or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.